Hi guys, another update on my project pen and I will start actually with the empties. So first thing I finally completely emptied is the number 7 Instant Illusions Wrinkle Filler. Um, last time we were up here and I literally just cracked on now with it and emptied it up. It wasn't a good primer though to use with the foundation I added last time, which is the Evelon one, which is like a cream foundation. Um, so what I did in the end, I started to use um, this one, is the Luminous Goddess Aurora foundation um, from Tony Moly, um, which I actually got in one of my recent Yesta orders. But um, this one is really good to use over a primer like this because um, it's. It was. I was really impressed actually how good this foundation is. Um, it's very dewy finish, um, but you literally, even this pat is quite good. So I literally just pat, pat, pat on the face and it works really, really well. Um, and because it's such a light foundation, I was actually able to empty this one. The reason I couldn't use it was this one, because it's just too thick, the Evelon one. So what happens is then, if you put the foundation on, this one just rolls up into little things and it was just, I wouldn't buy it again anyway. So this one didn't do anything really it was with some foundations even actually disturbing to use as a primer so i'm glad it's gone i'm glad it's empty next one empty finally um i have a lip product i don't have them very often but i did manage it's the um elf um t rose lipstick there we go just empty uh, it, as you can see in the end wait focus um it was even really hard to actually put it on the lips because you would scrape with the plastic along your lips. Um, what is the measuring? Oh yeah. Last time we were here, so this this little bit which was left on the bottom is now all gone. Very happy and this will go in the bin. Next one which is also kind of empty so I actually decided to replace it is the um, mascara. This one I actually really liked, the Siglione mascara from Diego de la Palma. I really like it, but um, I used it for the last roughly 3-4 months and now it's getting a bit clumpy and just not nice anymore. And I have so many other mascaras which I really need to start using up. So I thought, okay, it's worth now letting it go and just starting a new mascara. So this one will go in the empty spin as well. Then, huge progress actually. So for the first week I used this foundation um, just to empty up that primer and it worked well. But then for the rest of the time, without any primer at all, I used the Yves Lom foundation, which I added last time, and ta-da! Look at this pen. I literally just added it last time, um, was like a week and a half into my monthly catch-up. Um, I did like an in-between catch-up because um, I suddenly ran out of the other foundation, so I added this one. And we already have such a huge pen. I'm really interesting to see how long this one will go um, because I used it for three weeks now and I'm already at that a huge one. I did use it before though because I did do a wear test on the Evelon product so it's not like it was brand new but it will be really interesting to see because if that only lasts for another two, three weeks that's quite disappointing. I mean I got these ones in TK Maxx so to a very very cheap price. Usually they're like £35 and considering if they would only last a month and a half which I expect maybe um, with that amount of product. It's by the way, it's 10 grams. Let's see, let's see. But still, I hit pan, big progress. Now the product was not so much progress maybe. Um, lips. Actually this one I had kind of some progress. Um, this is the Kiko Milano lipstick. Um, Jelly Stylo in Rosetto. I do really like this one. It's very nice. It's like a sheen, but not as sticky as a gloss. And we actually had some progress on that one. So, as you can see the months before, I hardly used it. But because I ran out of the other one, um, I really used it a lot now this month. So all of this, the stripey bit, um, actually is used up. So, very happy and I will still focus on this one. I'm, I'm happy to continue to use it. The same with my Kiko Milano eye pencil. This is, I use this, ugh, focus, I use this one for a bit of um, under eye highlight, whoops, let's try my perfume around, and last time we were here, focus, what's going on today, here, and now we are down here, what I found out though, I think firstly it's drying slowly, because I realized the other day I can pull it out, 
but it also made me realize how much product is left once I finished it, which I will impossibly to be reached because that's way too small. And once all of this is gone, of course, I will not be able to pull it out anymore, which made me think maybe I should pull it out now and put it in a, in a little pot. I don't know, because it's quite easy to use like this as a pen. Let me know in the comments if you have any idea, because I do quite like this one. It's like, let me actually swatch it. It's like a um, rosy color. There we go. I quite like it. So let's see. But continue to use it. Happy with the progress. Then, as a perfume at the moment, I use the Omo Rovica from Budapest, Queen of Hungary Mist. Um, I really like this one. And I nearly used it every single day. And the progress is not much. Which, to be honest, makes me happy though, because firstly, that's the only um, perfume product I have left in my collection at the moment. I don't know what I will buy afterwards. And I really, really like the smell. It has a super, super fine mist. So I actually spray quite a few times on my, on my body, but because the mist is so fine, I guess that's why you don't use up as much of the product, which is quite a good thing, because it's not cheap. Saying that, I had this one in the, um, I think it was in the Look Fantastic Advent Calendar last year. So I hope there's another one this year. Let's see. No progress at all with this one. This is the Wet n Wild um, Reserve Your Cabana Powder, repressed in a Burberry Compact. Whoops. Um, I didn't use it as much because um, it doesn't go too well as a finishing powder over the Yves Lom foundation. Um, it's just a bit... this foundation is too sticky. So it's better to get, go actually with a more a finer milled powder over it. Um, so to be honest, I didn't use this one at all. Which brings me to the next product. Um, I used um, the Bare Minerals powder instead. This is the Be Natural. There we have it, Hydrating Mineral Veil. This one is 14 grams. It's impossible for me to see how much I used up, but I used it nearly daily. And when I look through the little holes, it actually still seems to be quite full. So I think this product will go quite a long way. Let's see, I like it. And it's not cheap, so I'm happy to be honest if this one is one which lasts. But I'm also happy to have it in my project pen to use up because I have another one of these. But let's see how it how it goes actually. What I did decide though, um, I actually decided to add in another finishing powder. And this one is from e.l.f. purely because this one has a bit of shimmer and I don't want shimmer um, every single day. So I'll also add one from e.l.f. which is a prime and stay finishing powder in the color Translucent Fair. This one is quite a small size, it's only 5 grams, and I did use it before during my e.l.f. wear tests. So I will add this one in my project pen as well, just that I have also a matte powder to actually use. Now, next one where you can't really see progress, I use this one every single day, absolutely love it. It's my current bronzer, um, it's summer edition, I think it was last year from Kiko Milano, number 02, Mediterranean Tan. And I love this one, I love the compact, um, I love the bronzer. It's domed, as you can see, it's one of these baked ones, and I use it literally every single day, but because I use a very, very gentle touch on it, like with, with my brush, a very soft, fluffy brush, because I don't want it to be too heavy on my face. It works beautifully like that for me, and it also means, though, that, of course, you don't use as much product up, saying that it's a huge compact. It's 20 grams. So I have the feeling this one will last me until next year, <laughs> at least for another year. Makes me think, ah, I shouldn't have bought already backup bronzers, but let's see. I really love this one, and I enjoy using it, and it smells like cocoa, which is also really nice. I also repressed um, this one. This one was my um, Franken highlighter. I mixed up a lot of my highlighters. I did repress this one again, because I think I mentioned in my last video, it, it just was a bit weird. And I started to use it up, because, um, well, not use it up, but I used it quite a lot on my legs and on my arms when it was warm because it's just such a nice shimmer and let me see there we go it's really nice it's a really nice subtle shimmer and it turned out such a good color actually but i did repress it and i'm actually quite glad i repressed it because it seems to me much better mixed now with the second press and also it's um closing now a bit <laughs> easier which is quite nice as well then city oh by the way I actually didn't use this one much recently since I repressed it, but purely because it's getting cold now outside. So I don't really have my arms and legs out anymore, I'm afraid. I still like using it though. Then my blush. This one I repressed before. Hit pan the second time already last time. Pan is getting bigger as you can see. I'm happy to continue using it. It's the CRT Pinch Me. 
Um, they're their glow blushes or glow to blush or something like that. Love, love, love this one. Even the compact is really, really cute. Um, I'm not sure if I will repress it again because I did repress it already. I will just see how it goes. At the moment, the brush picks the product up still quite nicely, so I'm happy with that. Then these were the eyeshadow palettes. Um, this one I didn't use at all since last time showing it. It's the e.l.f. Um, Natural Nudes one, which I really like. Um, I did use, though, on a daily basis, the Kiko Milano one, which is a bit boring, I guess. But I do really like it um, for daily makeup looks. You can see when you look sideways how it, the pans now slowly go down. It's one of these baked ones. As you can see, the, this color I don't use as much because I only use it in the outer corner to darken up. But this one I use nearly all over the lid. And this one on the inner corner of the lid, and this one, oops, sorry, on the um, inner corner of the eye where my tear ducts are. So it is going down. I can definitely see progress. I use it, it's literally my office look. I use every single day. And um, the only times I would not use it if I go out and I use my Pat McGrath palettes or something else to go for a bit more an elaborate eye look. But um, for daily users, I love quads like this. It's just good because you don't have to think much about it. It always turns out nice because you know what you do and I really appreciate that. What I sometimes do is um, I use this Colourpop. It's the Super Shock Shadow in Ultra Glitter. Uh, no, Twitter Painted. Um, as a topper after I did my eye look with the quad. I love this one. It's typical color pop, glitter, glitter. Actually, it doesn't pick up really nice on the camera. <laughs> Let me check again. The only thing um, with their formula, I don't like it when their stuff is drying out, which is why I put this one in my project pan. As you can see, I'm actually going slowly down on that one. I don't know how deep their pans are. Let's see. But I like to use it as a, just a little bit of a topper sometimes on my eyes and Fair enough, it's the only one I use for that at the moment. The other color pops I just literally put in my drawer and I don't use at all at the moment. Which is fair enough though, because at least I use some stuff up. Then my concealer did not use at all. Purely because the Eve Lom foundation is so full coverage. I literally don't need a concealer. It doesn't do anything. I like this one. Um, I do must say though, this one is a bit of a tricky one to apply. I need to use um, a tiny little makeup sponge to dab it in, otherwise um, this one creases quite quickly. So I need to see, it's the Rodial one, it's in the color Aspen 01, which is actually a good color for me. But sometimes it doesn't wear perfectly, so I need to see how I get on with that one. But it's still at the moment my only concealer and project pen, so um, I will leave it in there and happy to continue using it. Then. This one I just added last time. I didn't use that all because the weather got so cold. So I thought, oh, I will. Because I used so many of my highlighting, like cream highlighters and sticks up over the summer um, by using them as a body highlighter. So I thought, oh, the Clinique Chubby Stick. I will really use it up now. I will just use it as a shoulder highlight and stuff like this. But then it suddenly got, um, and to be honest, the size is also not that much. Like this is literally all that's in there. There we go. Whoops. There we go. And I thought, oh, I will use this up quite quickly, but then literally the temperature has dropped and never used it. It's quite a nice one, though. Especially when you... Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I leave it in my project pan. If there is a chance we go out or something and I want to apply a bit of highlight, I can use it. Now, products I will add in the project pan. I will actually add... Oh, I forgot! My eyebrow styler. This is the one from Claudia Schiffer. Hello, Focus. Eyebrow Styler in number 25, Wolf. Um, it was her collection with Art Deco. Whoops. I think I mentioned it so many times. It's the only eyebrow product I have. Um, I went down a tiny little bit. And as you can see, every month, it's quite consistent, the usage. It's a horrible eyebrow styler. It's the only one I have. I don't really do much with my eyebrows. So i um, happy to continue using this one. It's just, it's a very waxy one, um, which... Some people will probably absolutely hate and think it's absolutely rubbish, but because I never do much with my eyebrows, I actually don't mind it. Because me suddenly with a full-on eyebrow, it wouldn't be my style. But let's go to the project, I'm, um, what I'm adding. Of course, a new mascara, and I actually decided to add two. One, I will add the e.l.f. mascara, Naked Noir. This was like from their natural collection. And this one has the weirdest brush. Look. It's literally this stick. Um, I used it before and I actually didn't mind it, 
but because the brush is a bit weird I will actually also add a second one because then worst case I can use this one as a lower bottom lash mascara which this small brush is actually quite nice for and I will add this one this was one of these advent calendars last year which is why I really want to use it now Max Lash Vol Volumizer Mascara from is this brand called Duce? Duke? I don't know and this one has a more traditional brush so I'm happy to use this one I will start to use up some of my smaller mascaras because I just want to use them up I have too many of them at the moment so happy to add two mascaras to my project pan and I will also add a lip product um, this one is from Kiko Milano um, does it say what's it called? no it's one of their lipsticks but it's actually also these um, really glossy shiny it's like beige with gold flecks and I do quite let me put it on my arm I do quite use it as a lip topper you can't really see the gold flecks but there is actually quite a few um, gold flecks in there which makes it quite a nice lip topper so happy to use that and just add it into my project pan I probably need to start a new card because clearly the air font will be crossed out but there's two other ones on there. Let's see how it goes. Um, but I will measure it somehow. I didn't use this one much here. As you can see, this is the product completely pulled back. But I just need to start using it up. It does smell nice, by the way. It smells like vanilla. So it's definitely not gone off yet. Um, but I do have it since last year open. So I need to start get actually using up some of my lip products. But otherwise I have a bit too many of them at the moment. But that's it for me today. The video is already way too long for a project pan. Let me know what you think in the comments. And... Um, I start a focus and I see you next time. Bye bye.